So, as you all know, I'm in my favorite little place to do beam shot videos, although I may have to find a new location since this is kind of like a police magnet over here. Maybe because it's so dark, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to be making a quick beam shot video of the Ace Beam, or the new Ace Beam TK-18. This will actually be posted before the review is posted, so just keep that in mind. And I have the version with the Osrams, the CSLNM1TG emitters, basically um, the highest intensity that you can get in the TK-18. So I have this, and I brought a couple of other lights along just for, I guess, comparison, um, the TUP and the FW3A. Now, like I said, these lights don't really compare in beam pattern, but uh, kind of good size, I guess. I don't really have any other lights that compare to this thing. So this thing is really a good thrower for as small as it is. So we'll go ahead and start off on the highest output. Actually, we'll go ahead and start off on the high, not turbo. So this is not turbo mode. This is the high mode. And this light gets hot extremely fast. So I'll, go, I'll, I'll basically go ahead and double click it now. And now we're on the highest output mode. It's amazing this little ace beam can do this. That is impressive. Absolutely impressive. You can just see the intensity on this light is just amazing. I'll go ahead and shut it off now. And the head is already really hot. Um, okay, so here's the Nightcore TUP on the highest output, 1,000 lumens. I really like the beam pattern of this particular light, but the output is just not as high as I would want it to be. However, this light is so small that you really couldn't go much higher anyways without causing some thermal issues. There is the Nightcore TUP, and there's a car over there creeping around. He already drove behind me earlier. There's the TUP on the full 1000 lumen mode. And then here's the Ace Beam TK18. Probably should have focus this camera in a little better. Okay, I'll shut it off. It's already getting hot again. And then here is the FW3A from Lumitop. Go to high mode. Maybe I should have set the focus to infinity, but FW3A, as you can see how incredibly floody this light actually is, even though it's using the XPLs. You can see that these uh, CSLNM, CSLNM1TG emitters from Osram are so much more intense and they're around the same size. However, the diode itself is smaller on the um, Osrams. The XPL footprint on the actual outside of the diode, uh, I guess side to side, they're pretty much the same size, but the die in the middle is smaller on the TGs. So there is the Osrams again. This is the TK18. This thing is just amazing. It is so intense <laughs> for such a little light. The head is very hot. Of course, here is the Nightcore TUP. Here goes the camera again. Still good amount of light. And then the FW3A. There we go. So, the new focus on the video will be that sign way over there. So we'll do the Nightcore TUP first, since this thing doesn't really get hot like the others. There's the TUP. I don't want to zoom in too much because it kind of kills the, uh, that's the highest output, 1,000 lumens on the TUP. The FW3A. <laughs> Insanely floody. And then here is the Ace Beam TK-18. There we go. So yeah, head's already really hot. Wow, incredibly hot. I almost can't touch it. So yeah, that's basically just a quick video of the uh, Ace Beam TK-18. I might have accidentally said Phoenix earlier <laughs> because Phoenix does make a TK-18, I believe. So kind of get that confused every now and then, but this is the Ace Beam TK-18. So, all right, thanks for watching.